Um, not yet. I haven't got the chance to meet the Cowboys yet. Um, Yeah, uh, that would that'll be a joy. Uh, you know, that's a, that's America's football team right there, uh, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, to play alongside Trayvon Diggs would be great. Uh, played with him my freshman year. Uh, had the chance to play with uh, alongside of Trey Diggs, and it was fun. So to link up with him again would be perfect. Your motivation to come back after such a good year last year, what was that? Yeah, uh, just, just, just Alabama for real. Um, just the the community, the, the everybody in the facility, uh, just just great to me. Um, why not come back and give them another year? Uh, obviously, we ain't played like we wanted to play last year. Uh, we didn't get the natty, or but I did graduate uh, from uh, Alabama, so so that was a that was a plus, and um, I had a good year, so it was it was great for me. Um, all of them. I mean, I'm here. For, I'm here to uh, showcase some skills. So, so probably the position drills will, will be the best thing. Uh, that's what we do most. So, uh, position drills will probably be the best thing. Best thing. Best thing I'm looking for. Talk about your big playability over half or half your interceptions, your turn for a touchdown. Like, what's your mindset when you, you know, get the ball? Yeah, uh, that just every time I get the ball in my hands, uh, I just think about uh, little league me because that was the last time I played offense. Um, when I get the ball in my hands, I just want to score. Uh, I ain't, I didn't play running back and since about ten years old, and last time that was the last time I won the Super Bowl with my dad in little league. So when I get the ball in my hands, that's like to showcase my skill with the ball. So uh, getting in the end zone is always a, the uh, the goal. Yeah, uh, he made me better. Uh, he he took me in. Him, Waddle, uh, Pat, they uh, those were my guys when I first got there. Uh, they took me every day in practice. It was it was competitive. Uh, whether I lined up against Waddle, Judy, uh, Smitty, uh, whoever was in front of me, Mechie at the time too. Uh, whoever lined up in front of me, it was just competitive, uh, brotherly love. Um, just get at it every day, and uh, that's some, one thing I loved about Alabama: the, uh, the, com the 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 ability to compete every day, and uh, that's that made me better. Houdini? <laughs> I ain't heard Houdini, but uh, I, I say he, uh, he's one, he's a smooth dude, uh, cool dude. A lot of people don't know he's funny, um, or if y'all do, he is funny. Uh, he's a funny guy. I was just talking to him yesterday, and I was telling him that uh, a lot of people don't know how funny you are because he don't really express it, but uh, like behind closed doors, he's a funny guy, um, cool. Uh, very very open to, to his players his teammates um if you he always invites us invites us over to his to his apartment uh just just to have some bonding bonding time uh grow a relationship on and off the field so so i would describe him as like one of those cool guys bryce uh just just how how smart he is um when he, he would always come up to me and DeMarco uh, and, and ask us about what coverages we ran. If we if we did, say for instance, if we did catch a pick or an interception against him in practice, uh, he would come up and ask like what what coverage we were in and how do we disguise it. So in the game and, and, and so in the game, if a, if a teams in the SEC usually when we play SEC, we all play like the same coverages like quarters. Uh, so whenever we play coverages like that and uh, in practice and, he, and we catch interception on it, he, does, he doesn't want to happen that same mistake to happen in the game. So just just being smart and intellect like that. What's that? Yeah, uh, it feels good. Uh, it's actually uh, quite a few of us um, here. Um, I know off the top of my head, uh, Zay Flowers. Uh, Kenny McIntosh, those are my guys. I played uh, travel basketball with them. Uh, just, to, just to see us at this level now, uh, just a blessing. Uh, a lot of people where we come from don't make it here, and to see us here is just, just a great feeling. Yeah, uh, I went to St. Thomas Aquinas, so right in, right in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, so I had to compete there. I didn't start till my junior year of high school. Uh, I know a lot of guys going to high school and they start like freshman year, but I didn't start till my junior year and senior year. Uh, so I had to, so I had to make up for all that ground that I lost in the ninth and tenth grade year. And um, just coming from South Florida, uh, just the speed—that's the big thing—the speed uh, and, and guys, guys, good receivers coming out of there. Uh, just, just making me better every day and competing every day in South Florida uh, got me to the stage as well.
Um, the, the main thing was just uh, the way the way Matt competed in practice. Uh, it was fun every day. Every day. Uh, I know when I first got there, uh, Mac was on scout, uh, and, I, and I seen him like every day, like the, the way he would compete against us on, on scout team. So uh, I knew once he got that chance to, to start uh, at Alabama, I knew he would be a great player. And uh, I know it was a lot of doubters like before that, before that year we won a national championship. But I'm, uh, I'm happy he had silenced all the critics that year. I was happy for him. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We're going to leave that behind closed doors. I know y'all want to get all the inside, but <laughs> I'm going to leave that to me. Was it bad? Nah, it was good. It was, I mean, it wasn't bad. It was nothing bad at all. I feel like it was something bad. Y'all would probably see me miss a game. <laughs> uh, I haven't met with the Patriots yet, but. Uh, I think I think I'll probably meet with them in the informer or informer sometime soon. Yeah, uh, that, that that's probably the the closest comparison to uh, Coach Saban. So um, that that would be a great great feeling as well. Uh, just I'm a guy who takes constructive criticism like very well. So uh, coaches who are hard on me, uh, I love it. Uh, my dad coached me like majority of my life, and I wasn't one of those those uh, those kids where my dad was. Okay, my kid is on the team. He's gonna play. He's gonna start right away. Now nah, I had to earn my job. Like if I if I messed up, he's gonna slap me in the middle of the game. So I had to <laughs> I had to always be in the, on my p's and q's. So I take a shot of criticism very well. Who my dad? Oh, I've been benched for sure. I've been benched for a lot of things. <laughs> Uh, yes, I did. Uh, I did meet with the Steelers. Uh, that was a that was a great uh, a great meeting. Uh, I love Mike Tom. Uh, Mike Tom was in there. Uh, it was some some great talks in there, and uh, just the relationship and uh, just the vibe he had. I can tell that uh, he's a he's a great head coach. Yeah, that would be uh, perfect. A uh, guy a guy who I look up to. Obviously, went to Bama. A Bama legend. Uh, just just the way he plays the game, the range he has, the way he tackles, uh, the versatility he has is that would be a great uh, a great mentor for me. Yes, sir. What you know about Coach Terry? It's my guy. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Coach Terry is a great guy. Uh, coach my brother at university school. Then when I got to the to the high school level, you went to St. Thomas, and that's what made me choose to go to uh, St. Thomas. Uh, just Coach Harry, Coach Harry's ability to to coach and just to to lead guys, make guys men and not little boys, grow little boys to men. Uh, just his ability to do that uh, is what made me go to uh, St. Thomas. Uh, yes, I met with the Dolphins yesterday. Oh yeah, that's that's the home team. Uh, I would love to go home. Uh, It'll be a lot of a lot of people have to have to get the nose though if I go down there. Uh, I know people gonna want tickets to the games, but I'm gonna have to learn how to say no. The Texas, yeah, I met with the Texans yesterday as well too. What was that? What did you say about Texans? Oh yeah, it was uh, informal with the Texans. Uh, we spoke about Christian Harris and uh, John Mitchell as well. I know they had asked me if uh, Christian Harris was faster than me. And they were telling me that he would tell most that he is, but I don't think he is. Uh, nah, not the Bucks, not yet. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a, a great, a great competition. Uh, just the, just the fire and the energy those guys have. Uh, both of them love the game of football. You can tell. Uh, uh, Jalen Miro, very, very faithful guy. Uh, very faithful guy. Uh, he's my guy. Um, He's actually uh, 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 one of my one of my little brothers. I call uh, him and Terry on Arnold was my guys when I was there, and um, I, I love this. I love the progress that Jalen has made, and I love the uh, progress that Ty has made. Uh, Ty was giving us uh, amazing looks last year in scout, and uh, I feel like he's gonna have he has a great future ahead of him as well. Oh, Kyrie Jackson's a, a great great corner. Um, six six three six four uh, length uh, has has the arm length has the feet. Has the feet of a of a of a little guy uh, out on the island. Um, plays the ball well. Uh, Kyrie Jackson is probably going to be a, 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 the next great corner out of Oregon. Um, I look forward to seeing him play this year. Yeah, Xavier uh, McKinney was another one of those uh, great mentors. Uh, a lot of people don't know Xavier uh, McKinney. Like he was in the he was still in the dorms when I got there. So I don't think he ever moved out of the uh, the dorm. So uh, that was that was great. Me and Brandon Turner came in together. Uh, who's at Tennessee right now? 
Um, me and him came in together, and we would always go to uh, X's room uh, to, to watch some film. And uh, he, I always remember his, uh, his like dog. He had a husky, and she would, the, the husky would like never mess with us. Like it would only mess with X. So their relationship was was very tight. And uh, just just growing up, growing up alongside of X, uh, he helped me understand the playbook faster. Uh, I had to had to get on the field early as a freshman when I got to Bama. Um, played started about four games my freshman year, and uh, just just knowing that I didn't have that pressure on me because I was so prepared. Uh, and, and X was a big part of that. Yeah, I mean, I knew that course was coming behind the Giants jersey, uh, the Giants jacket. But uh, yeah, it would be great. Uh, me and X still talk to this day. Uh, he's he's always on the game. I'm a big gamer guy too, so uh, that would be a that would be a great link up. When he, what was my reaction? Um, I mean, I didn't really have much of a reaction. Uh, yeah, you can't do nothing but be excited for uh, whenever whenever a guy comes through Alabama um, and, and leave. Uh, that, that happens almost every year. Uh, I had three different cornerback coaches when I was at uh, when I was at Bama. Uh, Coach, you seen Coach Scott? Coach Scott had the Seahawks now. Uh, had uh, Coach uh, Robinson, who's there now, and uh, Jay Vila, who's at Oklahoma. So. Um, Guys come in and come in and go out every year, and uh, you can't be nothing but excited for them. Uh, strength as a player, uh, just being just being very smart on the field, uh, kind of trying to trying to dissect the offense, uh, trying to know what they what they're going to give me before the play, before the ball even snaps. Uh, playing the ball, uh, just 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 playing the ball in the air. Um, but I got to work on uh, attacking the ball. Uh, sometimes uh, my angles my angles on tackles and running my feet through tackles. Those are some of my weaknesses. Mm -hmm. um, Christian Baumwill is just uh, one of those those high energy guys that brought that that fire to the D line that that you want that you want on your team. Um, he was one of those guys like you see him in the locker room. Okay, we don't want to mess with Baumwill. We don't want to mess with Baumwill. But uh, he was always a good guy. Um, he he, uh, he was also one of those guys who one of those older guys when I got there. I think he was only like one year older than me, but um, just one of those guys who just took took in the younger guys. Uh, just whatever we needed, he was there for us, and um, just he was a great spirit to the team. The best trash talker I faced at Alabama, uh, slick slick Mac Jones. I'll take Mac Jones, probably the best trash talker. It was just like. It was like some slicks. It was like some slicks. Like he complete a pass, and it was like, oh yeah, I'm coming at you every play. Like, okay, I like that. Come on, keep coming. I'm gonna catch a pick one day. <laughs> Zay and Kenny. Yeah, uh, we played for uh, South Florida Panthers. Uh, just me, Zay, and uh, Kenny McIntosh, and then we had Josh Singletary. He's at uh, Indiana right now. That was that was all. It was all four of us, uh, and we. Uh, and basketball, at that age, it, at that age, he could compete for sure. He could compete with me, but uh, I think now I got it for sure. Now I got it. Um, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't had any uh, awkward questions in my uh, interviews. Uh, I think I just come from my my great background. Uh, I don't have anything in my in my in my past life that I that I've done uh, that will that will allow somebody to ask me like one of those awkward questions. But um, my interviews has been great. Uh, it's been mostly uh, football, uh, good plays, bad plays, kind of kind of drawn up, drawn up formations or whether it's uh, learning on the fly. If they give me one of their playbooks, one of their one of their calls and just learning on the learning on the fly and being able to draw that play up as soon as they teach me right then and there. So uh, that's been like my questions. Um, not really, but uh, I've heard I've heard of some some weird some weird questions that uh, I don't think they're gonna ask anymore. But uh, yeah, I was I was prepared for some some awkward questions, but I was ready for for an answer. I had an answer for sure. You mentioned your dad was was he actually your coach, or did he? I mean, like, what years would that have been? Yeah, he was. He so literally football. I started at like five or six. Um. From there, from there, I was just going up in pounds. But he always coached one specific pound or, or age group, which is like ten. 
it was what you call like 110, 110 pounds. So uh, when I when I got to that pound, which was one year, one year of that uh, that year we won the Super Bowl. So uh, we went undefeated, didn't lose a game. Uh, and that was my that was my last Super Bowl, my little league like career. I played like two more years after that, but uh, that was my last Super Bowl. And then when I played basketball, which was from like 10 to high school, he coached me all the way up to high school. So I was I was he was my coach, like head coach. So yeah, he was he was my head coach, so always tough on me. Uh, like I said, so he 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 kind of got me to the stage, and I think him uh, didn't miss a him and my mom didn't miss a game. My 11th grade. And uh, not my 11th grade, but my second to last year, my last year of college. So they didn't miss a game. They probably only missed four games within my ninth, my first year, my second year. So I thank them I, for, for all their support. And uh, it was their, actually their anniversary this week. So the 25th. Jordan, anything to the you see that level of competition and the opposite of the In the NFL? Um, so I grew up like I grew up an Eagles fan, so I wanted to see them win the Super Bowl, uh, but that was strictly because of Michael Michael Vick and Deshaun Jackson. Uh, just their duo, that that duo was crazy. Uh, just playing with them on Madden, like I said, I'm a I'm a gamer, so so just playing with them on Madden that made them my uh, my favorite team. Um, favorite team on Madden that I use. Uh, it's out, of, it's out of the two Super Bowl teams, uh, Kansas City and um, and uh, the Eagles on Madden. That's that's my go-to teams. Can't be beat with them. Packers? Uh, not yet. I think I'll meet with them tonight, though. Formal, yeah. Yeah. My favorite call that I want to hear? Um... Anything that has me coming down in a, a, a strong hook, because I feel like that's where my uh, pick sisters come from. Uh, so like, our call and our defense will probably be like a mint, mint Billy Buzz alert, something like that. <laughs> it really is, but not for me. <laughs> huh? Oh, PlayStation for sure. You seem like you Xbox. You ask me that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I would say uh, Charles Kelly. Uh, we came in at the same time, um, 2019 year, and uh, obviously he's, he's leaving now, uh, and I'm leaving as well. So we kind of had like the same path. He I, when I got there, he was he got there, and then when he left, I left. Uh, so uh, Charles Kelly is probably my my biggest uh, mentor and uh, uh, helped me help me understand uh, film better uh, from day one since I got there. Appreciate it. South Florida guys? Okay, I'll go um I go Pastor Tain at one corner. Uh Sante Samuel at the other Sante Samuel Jr. at the other corner. Uh then I'll have Eddie Jackson at one safety. And then we could go uh ha ha. We'll go ha ha. I mean if you want to count them as Southeast Orlando, it's kinda of like central. But um Yeah, all legends. Uh Let's see. Put Sean Taylor in there. Got to. Yeah, y'all laughing because y'all know I should have been like the first answer. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, guys.